Hello, Lake Orion. My name is Brian Winter. I stand before you to address a critical ballot proposal this coming November 7th. This proposal aims to defund the Lake Orion Downtown Development Authority's Tax Incremental Financing, or TIF for short. If adopted, this would have severe implications for our community. It would dissolve the TIF funding structure that has been instrumental in supporting the DDA's efforts to create a vibrant economic environment in our beloved village. What would happen to our downtown if the DDA were unable to continue its operations? The answer is simple, yet alarming. The dissolution of the TIF funding would result in a loss of approximately 500,000 in local tax dollars from our community. These funds would be directed to other jurisdictions throughout Oakland County. This same $500,000 of funding is what led the village to back the DDA in the purchase of the lumberyard for $5 million through a bond issuance with an annual bond payment of $400,000 annually. So, dissolving the TIF funding not only eliminates all of the great benefits of having a DDA in our community, but it actually worsens the financial position of the village itself by leaving it with a budget shortfall of over $200,000 annually. And a budget shortfall leaves the village with two choices, reduce services provided to residents or raise taxes. Therefore, on November 7th, registered voters have the opportunity to decide the future of Lake Orion. If you vote yes and eliminate the DDA's funding source, you will send close to 500,000 of our tax dollars outside of our community. You will effectively eliminate the DDA as we know it today, and we will watch the village government toil with serious and challenging financial decisions that lead to a reduction in services or a tax increase. However, if you vote no and secure the DDA's TIF funding source, you ensure a secure financial path for both the DDA and the village. And you keep your DDA in place to continue its work in building a bright and vibrant community. Plus, you help the village acquire an additional $1.5 million of incoming funds over the next five years to put towards infrastructure and operational needs. And all of this happens without raising taxes by a single dollar. So myself, on behalf of all of us at Save the Lake Orion DDA, encourage you to get out and vote no on November 7th if you live in the village. Even if you don't live in the village, help us spread the word about this critical ballot issue by sharing our website, savethelakeoriondda.com, and follow our Facebook page, Save the Lake Orion DDA. Remember, vote no on November 7th.